Hi, welcome back to Cold Key RC. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Gep RC Mark IV frame that I did a review on a couple of days ago with all the other parts. This is going to be the build overview video. Uh, really has turned out into a really nice drone. So, hope you enjoy the video that's coming up. Thanks so much for watching. So as you can see here we've fitted the motors so these actually come with some motors don't always come with screws this one does um some of the cheaper motors i've had didn't come with screws so fitting your motors it's up to you really what you want to do with your wires i like to make sure obviously my motors are facing with the wires facing down obviously the four screws line up but importantly this is what i do so there's various ways you can do this got the wiring out of the way so for wiring your motors up you obviously need to make sure you get the right length you don't want to leave these far too long so they can get stuck in tree branches etc so i will use fabric tape and i'll put that down that'll be the next thing i do i'll put fabric tape on there at that point to hold the wire straight make sure my three wires come out straight and i'll bring them around the stack mount here so where my fc goes on you've got some risers mine are going to come under and go to them three wires there's two reasons to do that when you get a much nicer build of the wire that's sticking outside but more importantly for me is if i do that i can leave these wires longer which means i can then take this lot out and transplant this into a six inch if i want or maybe even a seven inch if i put the wire there and i have longer arms i'm gonna have to extend these motor wires which is never a good job so i like to make sure my wires as they go around a bit longer you've got plenty of room under this stack to put your wires nothing else goes under here so i probably leave my wires like that kind of lens cut them there and then if i don't have to take them off again they'll be like this lens so i could easily fit them on a six inch frame mounted to the front just those i think it's just a tip i do you don't have to do it that way people have got their own way of doing it but as you can see i've mounted this esc if you've never built before again it's another important thing make sure you put this the right way around because if you don't put this the right way around these motors are going to be in the wrong position so as you can see on here let me see if i can actually get this in focus So this is my back and I've got one three and then I've got four two. So these are the right way around. So that's gonna that is motor obviously four. So make sure it's the right way around. If not, you're gonna have a hell of a problem trying to sort it all out once you've built it. You can do it by messing around with beta flight, but it's a pain in the ass. So another important thing is to make sure here and also make sure when you've seated this down you're not far too close to cut i've used the stack mounts which i very rarely do i normally use my own mounts for this but i've just used what comes with a stack another little tip is if you start starting building quads you can get for about a tenner you can get a bag of a box you know a plastic box of about a thousand screws ranging from 1.5 mil up to 4 mil i'd recommend buying some of them because you're always going to need them because it didn't come with the bolts but for the bolt and the stack on i've had my own just a little tip stuff so I'm going to go away and solder the motors on. When I've soldered the motors on, I'll show it you with the motors soldered in and um, before we go on to the next stage. Motors are all on and soldered up. So I'm not the best solder in the world, I don't profess to be. Just make sure you get your joints nice and clean and you get them to grip. Give them a little tug when you put them on. Don't go stupid with them, but just make sure you put them on. And don't be afraid to apply a bit of heat to get these to do. So you can see I've brought the motor wires round, like I said, I've put some cable ties on there just to keep the motor wires straight as they're coming through the frame. I've put the XT60 on the end of the cable, I've used one of my own, I don't like the one that comes with it, I prefer these ones with the shield on. And I've made the wire just the right length so I can put it like that onto the frame when it's done. That'll mean I've not got too much wire, it'll pull it away from the props and I've also put the capacitor on. So now we're ready for the board. Now before I fit the board I will wire up everything to the board. So I'll put the receiver, the VTX and the camera wires all onto it just so I can plug it, put it straight here and just plug it into the various things and then we're ready to put it together. So, so far it's been a very easy build. So let's get the rest done. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I folded the stack up. I highly recommend doing your stack separate. Just put it on the desk, de bench and do it separately than trying to do it when it's on the frame. So, I've, as you see, I've got the cables in here from a receiver. 
These three cables here are for the camera, and then on this side, these five, these five cables. So I've got two Earths together, and then I've got my positive, my yellow for my video, and my green for my smart audio. And that's virtually it. That's all I have to do on this one, and that's ready to pop back in. So let's fit it in the quad, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've now got it in the frame. So as you can see, the stack's gone on the top. I brought the wires underneath the stack when I put them together to go to the VTX at the back here. And I've done, this is the receiver. Where, and this is great frame because I can put the receiver in the front and I've brought the receiver wire back there. So all I've got to do now is, because I'm putting the run cam on here, I'm going to mount the run cam on the underside of the top and then put the camera in place and then it's just a matter of setting it up on beta flight so I'll go get the camera fitted on, I'll get the frame completely built up before I set it up on beta flight and I'll show you what it looks like the one thing I need to mention so is because of the, this is quite a strange stack the, I have had to re unsolder all the wires that go on the outer edges of the, e of the ESC because these won't go back on these little plastic um, spaces so I've had to do them and move them up but that's about all I've had to do apart from that it's been a really easy build so I'll be back in a couple of seconds with it built up and show you what it looks like so hey completely built so everything's gone on the top's now gone on and everything I put the mount on for the GoPro the mounts are the ones that printed the TPU that I printed for here they didn't look great and also the TPU piece I printed for in here wasn't strong enough so I need to print another TPU mount I'm not happy with this being mounted on the top but just to do a quick test on it that's all I've done um, I have had a quick flight with this and my conclusions are flies very now similar to the Nazgul weight wise it's quite similar I have used PID similar to the Nazgul I think it feels a bit smoother the, the props something I'm not sure about so I have fitted these I've fitted the 5145s and I think I prefer the 5140 Nazgul ones I think these are better props so I probably will swap these out because I've got some more of these I've got another couple of bags of these so I may well swap them out I've been running this on a 1500 6S I've got no jello in the camera whatsoever I will have a flight footage video coming up for this shortly but at the minute you've got to pick and choose your weather I just flew in quite a dull day to have a go with it yesterday but yeah flies really nice very smooth and like I said the only thing I've had to do is I changed I put it's D-Shot 600 and I set the pins up very similar to the Nazgul they're not exactly the same they are similar so and I think all in all really nice build so if you are looking at building something you can obviously build cheaper than this this isn't this is kind of a, yeah, I suppose it is a budget build, really. This is coming under 200 quid, I think, including putting the camera in and everything. Um, not including the battery, obviously, but including the receiver and everything. It's still under 200 quid. And it's a really nice bit of kit. You can obviously put cheaper motors on if you want cheaper stack. I've put uh, this Mamba stack on here, which I think is a fantastic success stack. I think it really is great value for money. The Video TX, I've used one of these a few times, performs really well. It's simply a matter of setting it up with the button on the side there. So you just need to press that button there to set and go and flip through your modes and everything and your power. I've got this set at 200 and 200 is absolutely fine for me. So, absolutely great I think, I'm very happy with it. So I've got some more build videos coming up, I'm going to do a 6 inch very shortly and that's going to be built, it's actually going to come out cheaper than this and that's going to have a 6 inch freestyle frame and we're going to fit the Runcam 3 Micro in that one and we're going to try out the motor, the Emacs Eco Motors, see how good they are and I think we're going to use the same, we'll use a similar stack probably but I think we might try a different BTX on the back. So we've got to have that build coming up, I've also got the Flywoo Mr. Croc uh, HDV version, so the one that's the DJI FPV system, so you can fit the air unit in it and the camera. We're going to do that build and we're going to use the Flywoo motors on that one and the Kakuta F7 stack that's built for the DJI system. So I've got the DJI system coming up on the channel 
I ordered the pack that's the yeah, I think it's called Enterprise Edition. I think it's called that, where you get two cameras, two air units, etc., and the goggles because I didn't want the transmitter, and we're just going to fly on the jumper. So this is bound to the jumper. This is down to the jumper T16 Pro, which I haven't showed you yet, but I've got a review coming up of that. I bought the T16 Pro. I've still got the other T16, but I now want the Pro as well. Uh, just spoiler alert: that transmitter is truly awesome. So there's a lot of good things coming up on the channel, as you can see, very much FPV now orient oriented. But yeah, this uh, I really like. These motors are probably some of my favourite motors now. I really like these motors. I'll probably do some more builds with these, but I might try the more expensive version. So these are still the economy ones. Um, well, these are the cheaper end, if you like. They've got the higher end ones, which I think we'll build on the next one. But like I said, the next one I've got coming up is a six inch. And we're going to see how that goes. I think I've got 23 away, 1750 kV motors coming for that on that one. Coming, I haven't arrived yet for that build. But yeah, that's where we are. So I will have a flight video coming up shortly of this and when the weather depends, showing you how good it is. But I can assure you there's no jello through the. I love these run cam cameras. I put up with the fact that the FPV isn't as clear and it isn't. You're not going to get as good FPV. What I'm looking at doing now, so is the next build I do that's not a DJI one, I'm looking at putting two cameras in and we'll go with a dual camera system on the board and we'll have one for FPV and I'll run this because I still think this is better than the Tarsier. The quality of this camera I think is better in 1080p than the Tarsier can perform. Tarsier's 4K to me just doesn't cut it. That's my opinion obviously but I really like these cameras. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.